How are fairy mates doing? My name is Diabellical and welcome back to Babbling Bell. We're back here once again to do the Q&A. That's right. We're not going to do it later. We're going to do it now because it's better that we do this now. So that way we don't do this in the middle of winter. And this has been long past the original video. So we might as well do it now. Keep it up because it, what's the point of doing the Q&A like two months later? That's no, we're not doing that. Anyway, all these questions were amazing. I, I made sure to answer all of them as best as I can. And hopefully we can, you guys get to learn more about the bell and then the, you get to learn more about the bell than the diabolical. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So let's get down to the first question from cutie orca. Their questions are, what's your favorite games? Why'd you start making videos? If you made a game, what would you name it? I hope you diabolical death would be a pretty dope name. Clearly that's the best name I ever heard in my entire life. Why don't you play multiplayer games? And if you would, would you become a full-time YouTuber? That's all I got for you, man. I hope you have had such a wonderful, awesome day. Keep grinding. My favorite games, you know, what was that? There, wasn't there like a tier thing that people did where it was like nine boxes that made a full square? Um, I'll do something along the lines of that, of my, what I think are my favorite games. I kind of really did just write them down uh, on the top of my head. I don't, I haven't made a real in-depth, but these are the ones that just peaked at the top of my head, mostly because either A, they remind me of my childhood, B, I played them the most, or C, I just remember them right, right then and there. But for, I would think the first game, or we're going to start from what I would think are like the older games I've ever played from my first start of my, my gaming journey. Gaming journey, Jesus Christ. I think the first ever game I can actually remember playing was a game called Battle Tanks on the on the N64. Um, my grandfather actually had a N64 in his room and um, and he had a few games. He had a bunch of other N64 games like um, Super Mario 64, uh, Battle Tanks, uh, GoldenEye 64, a few other options that I can't name off the top of my head right now because it's been such a while since I decided to go back to it. He even gave me like a paper with like had cheat codes on it for some of the games that he had. And the N64 controller was a bit freakish. Let's get that across the board right now. The N64 controller was the weirdest controller you could possibly ever hold in your hand. But, oh, and Star Fox 64, that was another game. But on and on, other than that, let's go back. Uh, Battle Tanks was a game I remember specifically. That's when me and him played a lot. I played and he would watch me and then he would take control. Um, if you don't know Battle Tanks, uh, look it up. It's pretty. St it was a pretty standard game. You get to have control of a tank, and you basically just get to shoot other tanks. And it even had a story to it, which was pretty amazing back in the time for me. Um, but that's like the earliest, well, not the earliest, but the earliest game that I can ever remember that I remember fondly because it was with my grandfather, and he liked games too. Um, but after Battle Tanks, I think the next game of Little Bell growing up would be Pokemon Platinum. Um, I did, I do have Pokemon Blue. That's like the earliest, oldest Pokemon game I ever had and played. But I don't think Pokemon Blue was the game that started my Pokemon journey. It was definitely Pokemon Platinum. Pokemon Platinum was like the first ever actual Pokemon game I ever got my hands on on my Nintendo DS. And I remember playing that game over and over i would i would start the entire game over just to start their journey over and over again i love the Sinnoh region i loved the starters and i yes my starter would be turtwig i fucking love that little turtle and i will always pick that turtle out of any starter any starter in any pokemon region i would choose turtwig that is my favorite pokemon favorite starter doesn't matter i love that little guy sometimes when we went I wouldn't even evolutionize them. I love Torterra. I love Grottle, but I love Turtwig. I would just keep them. If I had a pet Pokemon, I would choose Turtwig without a doubt. But other than that, I love Dialga, Palkia, um, Giratina. I had a huge Sinnoh region Pokemon phase. I have some of the movies of uh, during Pokemon when it was in the Sinnoh region, like Darkrai Rises um, was one of them. Uh, Shaman. Pokemon Platinum is what started off and Garatina that gave you the chance of getting Palkia, Dialga, and Garatina. And then there was an also, I remember a weird time when I was up uh, and when that game just came out where I had some stupid kids give me um, tips on how to get Arcus and they're like, oh, you need to go to uh, this container and press A like 20 times and then you need to do a full circle. I did that. Eight, eight, six year old me did that or whatever, how old I was when it first came out. Yeah, I actually followed those idiots that were just tricking me and now realizing it, I was a dumb kid, but it's fine. I got Arceus one way or another. I made a friend trade me. Also, I had like a friend trade me like duplicate 100 Pokemon Master Balls at the end of it, but I think I restarted that game. So I really, I don't know why I did that, but that's how much I loved 
uh, Pokemon Platinum was that I did not care. I would just restart the game over and over again. It, as much as I love the old Pokemon Blues, Yellows, Pokemon Platinum uh, for my generation um, was absolutely the best Pokemon game to me at all. And I'm kind of disappointed that um, the reworks like uh, Shiny Diamond or whatever the fuck it's called um, didn't do uh, Platinum, but uh, hopefully they do it and they fix some of the things that came with the uh, new generations. But then after Pokemon Platinum, it was I finally got into uh, my console phases. The, well, the modern console phases at the time, which was the uh, my, I was more I was an Xbox person. Let's get that across the board. I did play PlayStation whenever I had the chance. Uh, I was mostly on Xbox. I was an Xbox kid, still an Xbox kid. Um, not that I have anything against PlayStation. They have some amazing games. God, I wish I could play of um, God of War uh, and all those other games. Spider-Man, for instance. But um, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with um, Xbox. And these games also come with uh, why I love the Xbox. Because um, when I first got an Xbox 360 was in, my was in the next step of my gaming evolution. Was Halo 3, Left 4 Dead 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Those were the three games I remember because um, they were gifted to me. And those were the three games that uh, they ca that came with it. Those games and that console is what really brought me through my uh, pre-teen, teen to teenager years of um, gaming was the Xbox consoles. But in that, in that specific moment during like the peak of Black Ops 2, um, during that era, I played the absolute shit out of Black Ops 2, and I, and I was a squeaker, but hey, I knew better. I didn't talk on the internet to people um, because I knew I would get called a squeaker. Uh, so I really did just play. I would play with friends. I would do all that shit. I tried not talking in game chat because I would have been hung very easily by a bunch of adults telling me that I'm a fucking squeaker or even teenagers. But I played, I was pretty good. I remember my favorite uh, loadout would just be using the B23R because that gun, that gun slapped. Let me tell you, I would use the B23R or is it the B23? The first pistol, I would put a suppressor on that shit. And let me tell you, I went off. That was my prime right there. <laughs> and then came Halo 3. I love Halo. I love the shit out of Halo. I love ODST. I, I would say it's between ODST but it would be Halo 3. That is the first Halo that I think I ever have played. And when I first played Halo, when I first got that console, that was all. I didn't have online, by the way, until like I got I got the Black Ops 2. I realized that Black Ops 2 had online multiplayer and Halo 3 had multiplayer and Left 4 2 had multiplayer. I didn't do um, Xbox Live. Uh, I got there were some trials that I didn't understand because I was a stupid kid. But for the most part, I just played offline. Halo 3, local bots, um, Black Ops 2, Left 4 Dead 2, just going the campaign with bots on hard. Those were some of the greatest memories of my time before I actually got into the online segment of gaming because in Halo 3, I loved Halo. And then when I found out that I had ODST, this was hard to choose between Halo 3 and ODST. I am a huge nerd for ODST. I love the concept of it. Uh, I love the soundtrack of Halo ODST. I love the fucking piano in the rain. If you know what I'm talking about, yes. Does it make me a sad boy? No, okay? I love it. I love the piano. I'm a, not afraid to admit I love the piano. Anyway, but those are just some of the games. Um, if you guys want me to do a whole segment on why I love games, uh, on, the, on like my top nine games, that little stu that little box tier thing that people do, I think I'm getting way too into it talking about it. I think that could be turned into a whole um, video because I'm already at fucking 15 minutes. But anyway, we got to move on to that. Uh, if you guys want to see another video of me talk about my favorite games, but those are just some of it. But until then, we'll just move on to the next question because I'm not even done with the first guy who asked it. <laughs> Why'd you start making videos? Um, I started making videos because as gaming was my entire life, uh, so was YouTube. If I wasn't doing sports, hanging out with friends, uh, or at school doing schoolwork, I, I was on YouTube. I was even doing uh, watching YouTube while doing my homework and all that shit. Watching my favorite YouTubers that I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about. If I were to look at back at my old um, kid uh, uh, thing where I subscribed, I had a bunch of subscriptions to gaming channels. <laughs> And when I say it was like a big part of my life, I didn't really mean like it consumed me. No, it was more so just like it, I, I wouldn't really watch TV except if it was like a good show on Cartoon Network or something uh, where I would watch uh, like Adventure Time regular show and all that. If there wasn't anything good on, I would just go on YouTube on my Xbox 360 and just use 
uh, the internet on there to go watch YouTube. So that's what I would watch. It was on, when I first, I, was, I still remember my first um, YouTube video I ever watched. It was a, it was a fucking Minecraft Temple Run video. <laughs> That's 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 a, that's just say a lot, but there was a Minecraft Temple Run video. I forgot who it was from, um, but then that just dominoed into a whole pile of watching my YouTubers that I still watch to this day. And I always wanted to do it. I wanted to do play games, commentate over it. I didn't really think it would be a good time, seeing I was still a kid and still in school. But now that I am adult and I'm adulting things, hopefully as best as I can, I thought it'd be a good time. Plus, I this is. This is something that I at least wanted to try and do and see if I can be good at it. And it doesn't hurt to try. Anyone can do it. That's what I've been it was told by every everyone when the, every YouTuber that I was watching when they got asked that question was anyone can do it. You just got to have the um, the drive, the consistency to do it. That's all you got to do. Um, and so hopefully I'm trying to follow in those footsteps and keep going the way they were going. Except for the mistakes they're doing, learn from the, their mistakes so I don't make the mistakes either. But I'd started doing it simply because I want I wanted to do it too. And in my bio, my YouTube channel says I watched the YouTubers I had and I thought, why don't I have fun too? So really that's just the gist of it. It's a little bit sentimental, I guess, but other than that, it's just something that I thought was really cool. Uh, if you could make a game, what would you name it? I hope your diabolical death would be a pretty dope name. Absolutely. You took the words out of my mouth. I'm taking that name. It's copyrighted. It's too late. I own the rights to it. We're done here. Have a nice day. Come talk to my lawyer. Bella lawyer. Why don't you play multiplayer games? Um, I actually tried. I, <laughs> I actually tried doing a multiplayer game. I tried doing, um, I tried testing out a game, which was, uh, Paladins. I think I tried doing Paladins. I think it's the same reason why I don't play any newer games right now, and the simple answer is because my the old PC I have can't handle it. I had this thing for a while now. She still runs great. She still does the things it needs to do, but other than that, I don't think this baby can run any much longer than it can on multiplayer games than on the new age games. You should have seen. I actually tried running a um, Dead Space 3 remastered on the channel. That never happened. Uh, I was gonna turn into a meme video, but I think it was because it was so goddamn lag. I couldn't run that thing. I could not run that game. I couldn't run it. So the same way I can't run multiplayer games, she can't run them. I swear to God, I think I'm. I, there's a song in my room half the time when she's trying to run any other game, or even just on right now. It's 120 degrees in this goddamn room. But hey, at least I'm warm for the winter. So really, I mean, once I get a new PC, I'll try. I'll definitely be playing better, not better, AAA games, I guess. What you want to call them more quality, not quality, because there's some indie games out there that are fucking better than the games we have now that come out. I guess more like the AAA games, just the AAA games that come out with it. Um, the ones that require a bunch of more specs than what my PC has. So hopefully I can get them. Uh, hopefully... Uh, I save enough money up, but I think that'll. I only think the only time that'll happen is if I decide to make this a full time thing because I'm just as happy playing indie games. I like playing games that other people have made. If I had the opportunity to do YouTube full time, that would be that would be a tremendous honor because, like I said, it's something that I wanted to do play games, commentate over them, hopefully be funny enough to the point where people like it. And who wouldn't want to play games? who loves video games as much as I do, do it as a living. That would be the most amazing thing to do. I did a little bit of research before doing this that when you first do it, test it out because if you have fun with it and you like making videos for fun, then you're going to have a lot of fun making the videos and then you're going to be consistent making these videos of gaming or whatever you want to do. But if you're here for the wrong reasons, you're not really going to get much fun out of it in the first place. I heavily believe in doing what you love in a job. I would really just like to do play games for a living. And does that really contribute much into the world? No. But is that something that's important to me as an individual? Yeah. Because I don't think I'm going to be one to solve cancer or, or, or create robotics. There are much more intelligent people than me. And maybe, I mean, I'm not saying I can't do it. I mean, of course, anyone can do anything they want. They put their mind to it. But I, I just don't think that's me. I wanted to do stuff like that. But there, there was a bunch of things that came across to it. But... I love video games so much and I love the YouTube uh, community. So hopefully maybe if it ever happens, it happens. Okay, moving on here from Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. For the Q&A, do you plan to make a Discord server or do a live stream? Discord server? 
Um, maybe. That's. I remember you asked me that before, um, and it's still on the rocks with it. Maybe because I remember. I I heard that. I've heard so many horror stories come from Discord servers where like if you don't manage it, some pretty horrible stuff can happen. So I if, if I ever do plan on making a Discord server, I want it to be. I want it to be a very um, high maintenance. Already has people in place to you know watch over it and just be a nice calm may a nice comforting calm server for us all to chill and do stuff i understand the comment section is uh not really the ideal place for us to all to communicate so i would definitely consider it i just gotta figure out how to run fucking discord server as well because i also don't know how to run fucking discord i don't use discord <laughs> i don't use discord i think i've made an account here and there but I don't know how to use it, but to live stream, I would like to do a live stream. I just got, like I said before, it's another, it's another matter of if I can, and it's not a matter of can I, it's a matter of how do I, and, and for that, I can easily look up a YouTube video on how to live stream, um, or maybe get some assistance, uh, if I ever make some, uh, YouTube pals, or even if you guys know, please let me know, uh, if any recommendations, but other than that, it's not, it's not a matter of. Um, can I? It's a matter of how do I, because uh, you guys are. I think you guys have given me some information I never knew about YouTube or about games and all that. But yeah, it's it's not it's not it's not off the table. It's definitely on the table. And finally, from the man, last mate of them all, Crozel. Question for the boss man. I am the boss man. The Bella boss. Bella boss. Boss boss bell. Boss bell. Yeah 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 yeah. How do you feel about how you steadily gained a good bit of attention? Congrats on the 300. Thank you. Also, what does your usual setup look like? Uh, is it a small screen, a laptop, or is it a console, uh, Xbox, PlayStation? If you do continue to increase like this, what do you think will re realistically happen? I think that you end up being a VTuber model of some sort since you haven't shown your face. A VTuber model could be a fun way to add some reaction to the whole thing, but your voice holds a lot of emotion on its own. Thank you. I really try to make it have emotion. <laughs> so it's that. So that's what I would just do. And finally, not a really question, but still for the boss man, if you make a game, I highly recommend starting with Godot. Coders of Godot are super friendly, really helpful to beginners, and there's tons of tutorials. I recommend Devworm if you want to check out some tutorials. Beginner friendly, as long as you can figure out how to put them apart. Thanks for making all these videos. They really do make boring days a lot better at times. And hey, if any questions are personal on my list, no, let me tell you right now. I'm, I've been, these questions have been happy. I was more worried you guys would ask for my social security or something. Or my face. <laughs> This is your channel and you shouldn't be pressured to answer things you don't want to. Keep up the fantastic work if it makes you happy, boss man. Absolutely. What a mate right there. Top rate mate. Also, I got you, boss. I'll give you a hate comment soon. You won't know when it'll happen, but it'll happen. I'll sneak up on you. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for all of you, you bastards, to come after me with a hate comment. I've been feeling amazing about it. It's when I, whenever, what, what video was it? I think it was colonoscopy the colonoscopy video uh revenge of the colon when that video when those two videos um so they did a second part on it when those two videos got really big um they they i had i saw a huge jump because i think i just reached um like a hundred subscribers and then all of a sudden like 200 just showed up 150 subscribers that day and eventually it led to like 200 that has gradually went up and i've been up to three and now we just got a little bit of a bump too for 350 but um when that huge bump just hit i i'm telling you guys it's a feeling like no other i don't know if it what it is about it but it's whether it's a matter of me making this myself and seeing my own work prosper off or just absolutely loving the community that I get from it. It's one, it's, it, or it could be all of it. I've been feeling really good of it. Even if, even now when it's just a slow rise, I'm just happy seeing that people are enjoying my content no matter what. It, I could be at a million. I'd still appreciate every single person that watch that every sing every individual, single individual that subscribes. Cause I really wonder who subscribes half the time. And, and uh, it's really amazing that uh, some of y'all just decide to uh, comment about it and we, we've got a little community here and it's really just an amazing feeling altogether. It's not really something I can describe at all. Some people can definitely describe things better. You should hear me describe a movie to people. I couldn't, I couldn't get you to watch a movie if I were to describe it. I couldn't do it. I can't do it. If I describe something, I make it sound boring. Never ask me to, to describe a game, a movie, nothing, because I will just I'll easily make it 
in, in watchable, unplayable, all that shit. Anyway, what does your usual setup look like? Is it a small screen, a laptop? Um, it's a, I don't even remember what kind of PC this is. I'm going to be honest with you. I had this thing for a while. It's, it's a, it's not even a, it's, so I'm going to, it's, I don't even remember how I got, it's not a high end PC. I don't even think it's a middle grade PC. I think it's a low end PC. Middle to, or low to middle grade, something along the lines of that. But I really just have a regular uh, lab, uh, regular screen. I don't, how big is this thing? I don't fucking know. It's like the size of a, uh, it's like a foot and a half. Is it a foot and a half? It's is it a foot and a half? I don't really know. I'm thinking of how long a ruler would look on this screen. Because if you, the size of a th half of your thumb is like an inch. So maybe if I just do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, like in like a foot and a half. It's just a single sc a single screen. Uh, I know people YouTubers like to sometimes do dual screen or Christ, I've seen someone have like six screens, which that would fry my brain. Uh, props to them for being able to do that. But I really do just have one screen for uh, YouTube and all that. Um, I have two speakers that are not plugged in. <laughs> Everything goes through my headphones. Um, they used to work. I unplugged them when I got a new desk because the old one I had uh, wasn't good and it was in good condition after I used it. it. It was there for a while though. I mean, but I mean, other than that, that's just really it. Um, no two screens, no little side screen, uh, no. Uh oh, are we out of time? Oh no, uh, extra 10 minutes. But that's really it. I don't really have anything else on it. I have a mug that has water in it, but other than that, it's just a regular old desk, little speakers, good old PC. That's all it is. Nothing that, nothing that fancy. Uh, I actually do gotta clean this this the screen to this to the piece to the to the screen. So I'll probably do that afterwards. If you do increase like this, what do you think will realistically happen? With the, uh, what do you think will realistically happen if I continue increasing? Um, with the VTuber model? I don't know. I've seen those things kind of malfunction. And then you see, like, the, you know, the anime girl with the, uh, with a, <laughs> the anime, the VTuber model girl. And then all of a sudden you just see a guy. <laughs> Which you guys are going to get that soon. You're going to see, you're, listen, I may sound like a girl. But let me tell you, you're going to see a man in a second. <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa. You don't know. I could be a woman. I could be a woman with a man voice. You don't know that. I could be anything. I could be the hunchback of Notre Dame back again. I could be Carrie. You don't know me. I could. I can mellow my voice. What the fuck am I doing? I would have to learn more about the V2 remodeling and how that whole works if I were to consider it. Because um, I think some people know better than I do about what to do if like it malfunctions. That's another thing. That's that also goes well with the live stream in question. Mr. Bubbles did is because like imagine if I'm live stream all of a sudden the V2 model malfunctions and the next thing you know you just see my ass. Ooh, that would be a jump scare and a half. At least I mean it's glad to know that my voice has some uh, emotion to it. So maybe I could do that. Uh, because I wanted this to just to be about the games, the my voice, and all that. Like all of that, I'm not really much. I'm more. I'm really much of a private person. I like just playing the games. My face doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. What matters is the game I'm playing and the amount of fun we're having while playing the game together. And I mean, if I learn more about it, maybe I could. But I also that involves me making a model, and I don't know what the fuck kind of model I would do. What vector from Operation Raccoon City or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know the first thing about it. I'm not that creative either. So that's a whole other thing. Anyway, we'll just put, we'll put it on, we'll slide it off to the side for, for the lawyer to look at it in the meantime. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. But and lastly, with the, not really the question, but the information on how to make a game, I'll definitely look into Godot or Godot. Oh God, I can't do that either. And uh, Devworm and see what else they can hopefully and help me hopefully help me learn a little bit or two about making games because that's something I would like to do in the future too. Um, I wanted to go into video game creation too when I was little. I'll definitely look into this and hopefully maybe I'll become it. I can consider myself good old diabolical, <laughs> all extraordinaire YouTube extraordinaire, also indie game designer. However, I think that is all the questions we have for now. Hopefully. Did I skip anyone? I don't think I skipped anyone. Also, to the person that thinks they deserve those seven minutes, I'm sorry to tell you, but someone ate them. I, I, we already know what happened to the seven minutes in the last diabolical we talked about. And if you think you deserve an apology, well, let me tell you something. I'm sorry.
But other than that, mates, thank you guys so much for giving these questions in all seriousness. It's been amazing that you guys gave such pretty cool questions for me to answer. This was really amazing. Hopefully you guys got to learn a little bit about myself. And you guys want to see more stuff like this, put it down in the comments. But if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, like I said, and share with a friend. Helps out me and helps out the channel. And if you really enjoyed this mess of a Q&A, go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, mates, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next video of Babbling Bell or something else. I don't know.